Hello everyone. I have an amazing home to show you today here in Oak Point, Texas, another area in Little Elm, Texas, which is just to give you an idea of location, about 15 to 25 minutes, depending on traffic from Frisco, Texas. This home is unique because If you are looking for a home, 5,000 square feet, five bedrooms, actually 5,200 plus square feet, five bedrooms, five baths, three car garage. The two car garage is an oversized garage in a gated community. HOA is only $70 a month on an acre for under two mil. Asking price for this is 1.875. You are in for a treat. Home was built in 2017. Uh, if you know anything about uh, homes on Lake Louisville, it is really hard to get a home this size on the lake for under two million. Get your popcorn ready, let's go. So as you enter the home, you're greeted with brick and limestone exterior. Here you have your um, wood accented two car garage. And here you have your one car garage. Okay. Loving the brick inlays, uh, which accents, I think the driveway very well. And I want to point this out just real quick before we go in, you have plenty of space for guest parking, right? You even have a concrete slab here for another car, or if you wanted to build some type of um, shed uh, space here, you could do that as well. And as we enter the entryway, we're greeted with seven foot iron doors. Come on in. So right when you come in, you agree with this massive massive living area, right? 22 foot ceilings with recessed lighting, tray ceiling. Now, if this was my space, and you'll see why later, uh, both me and Daniel, right? <laughs> we both agreed that this would be more of a living room entertaining space. You know, I could see having, you know, a real nice living room area, living room couches. Uh, they have a piano here, but if you want to have a grand piano here, I mean, this would be a great entertaining space. And then to the left of the entryway, we have our first bedroom. And this is a pretty good sized bedroom. Here we have a queen size bed, which you can fit a king in here comfortably with two full dressers, really high ceilings. I mean, these are probably 12 foot ceilings. Yeah, 12 foot ceilings, re, uh, uh, tray ceilings as well in this room. And I like this area because this is where you would come in from your single car garage, okay? This is your single car garage. Um, so if you wanted this area to be closed off, kind of from the rest of the home, so whoever had this room, if they want to have some privacy, this would be perfect. They can just drive into the garage here and be right into their bedroom. Nice desk area here, so you can get your work done. And this is connected to a bathroom. All the bedrooms here have their own connecting bathroom, okay? We have our uh, design slate tile here, quartz for the vanity, frosted glass for the shower with chrome fixtures. Now we're gonna go upstairs and then we'll come back, look at the primary and the heart of the home. When first we'll go upstairs, look at the rest of the bedrooms and the entertainment area. So here we are upstairs. If you are looking to sell or purchase a home anywhere in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, be sure to contact us. And if you're looking to purchase anywhere in the country for that matter, we do partner with many realtors. So feel free to either email 
or send us a text. So here is the either game room, theater space. Me personally, I think I'd have this as a theater space. <laughs> if you've seen some of my videos, you know I love theater, um, which you have plenty of room to design that as you wish. Tray ceilings again, plenty of recessed lighting. And let me know what you guys think about this feature. You're able to kind of <laughs> look down on your living space. I think it still kind of you know makes you feel included with your guest if you happen to have company over. This of course is just uh, some more storage and uh, water tanks here. Plenty of natural light, more than enough natural light, which I love to feel walking through this hallway. Here we have another bedroom. This is a queen size bed, but you can get a king size bed in here comfortably. Plenty of natural light, and you can kind of get a view of the lake actually from this <laughs> bedroom as well. Nice size walk-in closet. And here is our bathroom design tile here, course for the vanity, chrome fixtures. Again, they have the design slate tile. This would be a linen closet. Of course, your shower here. You have your frosted uh, glass with chrome fixtures. Same finishes again for your vanity, your floating vanity, and walk-in closet, which is connects to your second, I'm sorry, your third, right? <laughs> I think we're in our third bedroom. Right, I'm losing count, right? This house is really big. A uh, little over 200 square feet, so a big house. But yeah, another bedroom. This is probably the largest bedroom on the second level. Yeah, I would decorate this space, I think, as a seating area. A really nice size bedroom. Let me know what you think of the layout. I definitely would, of course, decorate it, do some things differently, but hey, under two mil, 5,000 square feet, five bedrooms, I mean, really nice size home. Here we have our fourth bedroom. So here's a fourth bedroom. This would be probably the second largest bedroom on this level. So you can fit a king size bed in here perfectly. Again, more enough natural light. Again, nice walk-in closet. Connected bathroom. You have your design slate tile again, quartz for the vanity, chrome fixtures for the shower. And straight ahead, you don't want to go to the gym, hey, no excuse, right? <laughs> no excuse not to get your workout on. But there's so many things you can do with this space. As you can see here, they have it as a workout room, which I think is a great idea. Um, if you wanted this to be a game area, you could as well, because you could have that as a, ga a game area be connected to your outdoor living space. I think this is really a great um, outdoor patio. You get amazing views of the lake from here as well. And now we're gonna go back downstairs to see the rest of the home. Let me know in the comments, I mean, you saw from the drones where this is located. Um, you do get lake access. So if you wanted boats or, G or jet skis, you can uh, build a dock so you can have access to the lake. Let's go downstairs. So let's go to the left here. And now we're entering the primary bedroom. Huge, huge bedroom. Now, what I love most about this space is this tranquil view, <laughs> right? I hope Daniel can get this on the camera, right? You get views of the lake, beautiful views of the lake, mature trees. You can definitely fit a pool back here if you like. I mean, at that price point, 1.875 on the lake, there's plenty of space there if you want to put $80,000 to $150,000 on our pool. And just, I could see just sitting here, 
coffee, tea, just relaxing and just taking in this beautiful view. What do you think, Dale? Yeah, it's a beautiful view. I mean, you're, you have lake access. You could actually build your dock right there where Daniel was pointing the, uh, the camera. Get on your jet skis and have fun on the lake. Oversized king bed, two huge dressers so you can see the scale of the room. Really beautiful wood floors. I think those are oak wood floors. Again, slate tile again, floating vanities, quartz vanities. Chrome fixtures. Here we have our water room, frosted glass, tub here with chrome fixtures again, and frosted glass shower. I'm gonna let Dale get over here too so you can see the size of the shower. Pretty nice size shower as well. Okay, so there's a shower here. And walk in closet. Okay. Of course, I would uh, have California closets <clears throat> come in here and kind of do some, some work, but you really have a nice size closet for two people. Yeah, California closets, search sponsors. Yeah, that's a good idea, Daniel. <laughs> We've mentioned them quite a few times in the tour, right? Yeah. So let's cut across here. Again, remember guys, we probably would have had this decorated just as a living room space only. This is the oversized two car garage. I'm gonna have Dale come in the garage this time just so I can show you how big this garage is. So the garage stops here. So this gives you all the extra storage, right? So you can put you know, a motorcycle in here if you wanted to, um, you know, multiple bikes. You actually can get two motorcycles in here if you wanted to. So you have plenty of space if you want to even just use it for storage. To my right, we have our laundry area. Oversized washer and dryer, sink, and quartz for the countertops. And here to my right, we have, I would say, dedicated office space. Okay, really nice size. I mean, you could fit a really nice size desk and lounge or couch area here. If you had clients you need to speak to or speak with. And here we have our powder room, which is positioned perfectly because it's right across from our living space, living area space. Here's our powder room. Love the wallpaper they chose for this powder room. And here's our kitchen. A few things I like about this kitchen. One, it has Miele appliances, so very high-end appliances. <laughs> uh, Frigidaire for the refrigerator, Miele for microwave and heating oven. You have your oven here and electric stove. Loving these cabinets, check these out. Really soft clothes, automatic cabinets. Really high-end cabinets. Here we have just more cabinets, nice little kind of butler's area. Another small fridge here. Oversized, huge oversized farm sink. Glass accented cabinetry. And here is, now, I want your input on here too, Dale, because we both agreed, right, that this would probably be better off as a dining room space, right? <laughs> yeah, this would be, I think, where the dining room should be, right, in our opinion. But you can decorate it however you want to, right? It's your house. <laughs> you can decorate it however you want to. But I would put the dining area here that we have four bar stools. You can get 12 people here, no problem. And then if you want that to be a lounge area, which is a really cool space. Can't wait to show you this. Really nice sunroom. This feels really ser serene, guys. You can really take in your nature, take in all the nature and not be bombarded with bugs, mosquitoes, <laughs> and all that. Um, it's really just peaceful out here. You can hear all the, the animals and, and, and birds chirping and just really take in your lake view. So let me know what you think about this property. 
we really enjoyed being in this area. Um, I know a lot about this area because I lived in the community right behind this particular community <laughs> here in Oak Point. You're minutes away from Frisco, about 15 to 20 minutes, no traffic from Frisco. I love this community uh, because like I said, you're right by Lake Louisville. You have a real nice community pool. You're in a gated community. So that's another plus. I said again, under two mil. I mean, these are just all uh, pluses and amenities that it's hard to find right off of Lake Louisville. You're minutes away from Legacy West and the Star. You're looking about 20 minutes there, no traffic. Universal Studios, about another 25 minutes to 25 minutes, no traffic as well. Really good location. Feels very, very serene here. I hope you guys enjoy the tour. We're trying to do a lot of different properties that you may not normally see on our luxury tours. So be sure to check out our luxury tours, which are uh, uh, labeled here on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Be sure to subscribe, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Ken. Health, peace, and prosperity to you all. And I'll see you at the next vlog tour. Bye-bye.